Hi, good morning. Happy, happy. It's Wednesday, right? Uh, hump day. We're going to do this. Um, so if you have a resistance band nearby, um, it could be a closed one like they're going to be using or even a TheraBand. You could um, go ahead and um, make it a little circle, but totally not necessary. Like let's make sure if you had like a magic circle, you could use it for some of it. Um, Honestly, it's super not required. It just adds to it. Um, if we are using the fair band or the resistance band for arm stuff, you could certainly use weights or hold a ball. So maybe think about coming to these workouts and have all of your stuff nearby. I don't know. I, you know, I'm queuing you through everything. Who knows what anyone has at this point, right? Um, I do know that you can still get resistance bands on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. Um, all right. So we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to do a pretty quick workout um, using this resistance band. Um, it is gorgeous here. So maybe it's a little more like 35 minutes today. All right. All right. Let's go ahead. Stand um, nice and tall with your feet directly underneath you. Let's go ahead. Take a big inhale. Exhale. Arms come up overhead. Then take an inhale. Exhale. We roll down. Get down nice and low. Now, if you are tight today, which you might be, Mindy, that workout yesterday was pretty intense. Might be tight here. So go ahead, bend the right leg, straighten the right leg, bend the left leg, straighten the left leg. Go ahead and alternate here. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Legs are straight. Pull that belly up and in. Let's roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Those arms come up overhead. Take an inhale, exhale, pull the belly in. We roll down just like before. Get down low. Now, my friends here that are working out with me have very good hamstring flexibility. It may be that your hands are not coming to the ground. That's okay too. From here, I want you to put all the weight in the heel of the foot and lift those toes. And then come back, lowering down the toes. I know, right? You just got to get our balance today, Haley. All right, let's go from heel to toe three more times. It's three. It's two. It's one, let's pull that belly up and in. We roll up to standing one more time. Arms come up overhead. Very nice. Last time we roll down. So roll down, pull the belly up and in. All right, let's go ahead, shake the head, yes. Shake the head, no. All right, let's bend and extend both knees here. It's four, three, two, one. Arms are long, we pull the belly up and in. We roll up to standing one vertebrae at a time. Those arms come up overhead. One thing I want to do here, because I think Mindy would enjoy it, we're going to cross the right foot over the left. Then the arms come up overhead. You're going to grab your right arm with your left arm, and we're going to side stretch over first to the left. That feels nice after all that side plank, yes? We come back through center and then go to the other side. As you do this, make sure you're pulling the abs up and in. We go back one more to the other side. This feels nice, yes? And then come back. We go to the other side. Go ahead. Switch arms. Switch legs. As you do this, let's side stretch over towards the right and then pull up through the belly and we go to the left. One more each side for me. Oh, that feels nice, yes? And then come back through center, uncross the legs. Why don't we go ahead, let's seat, um, sit on the mat with our feet towards the beautiful tree house. This weather could not be any more gorgeous, right? All right, legs are nice and straight. Arms are straight out in front of you. Let's take an inhale, exhale. Pull the belly up and in. Slowly roll down towards the mat, one vertebrae at a time. And then the arms come up overhead. Take three big breaths here. Now, Haley is my modified variation, and maybe this roll-up is not so easy for you and you have a hard time getting up. You could always grab behind the back of your knees. We take an inhale, exhale. We roll up to seated one vertebrae at a time. Use that belly. I know. I'm having a hard time. When your abs are tight, it's hard. Reach forward. Grab those toes. Let's spine stretch. Uh, so sit up nice and tall. Arms are straight in front of you. We take an inhale, exhale. We roll down one more time. All right. Arms come up overhead. Very nice. While you're here, grab a TheraBand for me. Um, you could do heavy to start, and then like if you start like dying. So pick one that you want. You want to put on the outside of your ankles for me. So probably by virtue of the fact we're using this TheraBand, it's going to be a lot of glutes today. So you could, you could do the extra heavy if you want to start there. All right. So go ahead. I want you to float those legs up into tabletop. We're going to go right into the ab series of five, okay? So everything comes into that tiny little ball. 
and then everything comes out, but the legs are coming out too. And then everything comes right back in. So if you need to left, let your head, neck and shoulders come down, or maybe it stays down the whole time, that's fine too. I want you to really exhale and squeeze everything together as you come in. So inhale out, exhale in. Inhale out, exhale in. Four, burning yet? No kidding. Three, two, one, very nice. The TheraBand or the Magic Resistance Band is going on the outside of your arms. So switch positions, okay? Arms are straight up in front of you and they're gonna stay there, all right? Right knee comes into your chest, left leg is long, all right? And then press out and switch the legs. Out, 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 out. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, Five, four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one, last one. Very nice. Come down, grab your knees, rock side to side, release that lower back. All right. We're going to um, switch the, uh, the positions. Normally we would go to both legs, lift and lower, but the magic circle thingy majig, the resistance band's already on your hand, so keep it there. Okay. So go ahead. Arms are straight up in front of you, just like before. Keep the tension this time on the resistance band. Legs are straight up to the sky if you can. And it's a pulse, pulse switch for me. Pulse, pulse switch. Pulse, pulse switch. Pulse, pulse switch. Pulse, pulse switch. Eight, eight, seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, last one, last one. Bend the knees in, rock side to side, release the lower back. That TheraBand resistance band is going on the outside of the legs again. Um, ankles. Okay. Now come to an external rotation with the feet, like a wide external. Legs are straight for me. Hands are behind the head, flexed feet. Lift and lower the legs with those flex feet. Inhale and then exhale down. If at any point your head, neck, and shoulders are on fire, put your head down. If this is hurting your back any way, shape, or form, little diamond shape. If you need to come to a bent knee variation and keeping the resistance, that's fine too. Burning yet? Six. Five. I was counting. Four. Three. Two. One, very nice. Come in, the resistance band is going up above the knee joint. Come to tabletop wide with those legs. Hands come behind the knee or behind the head. Float the legs up into tabletop. All right, so don't worry so much about the legs moving. Think about the torso. We're gonna go right knee to left armpit. Or you know what I'm trying to say, crisscross. So we go one and then the other. If you wanna move the legs with it, that's cool too. Eight, eight, woo, that's hard now. Seven, seven, six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two. Last one. Last one. Very nice. Go ahead. Put your knees down. Rock side to side. Release the lower back. You can keep that TheraBand where it's at or the resistance band where it's at. Arms are by your side. We're going to go into our bridging series here, okay? So from here, your feet are flat on the mat, all right? Arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. Now, ladies, is there enough, a little bit of tension in the resistance band to start? Just a little bit. It's not like super, but there's a little bit, right? All right, with the arms pressing like the devil into the mat, you're going to take an inhale, exhale, lift that pelvis up into the air. As we do this, I want you to think about the belly and the glutes. Then we take an inhale, exhale, and we articulate down. High back, middle back, low back, tailbone last. Inhale, exhale, we come all the way up to the top just like before. We take an inhale and exhale and we articulate down. High back, middle back, low back, tailbone last. Here we go, inhale, exhale, we come all the way up to the top. All right, so keep that bridge and I want you to um, ab AB duck and add duck those legs in and out. So open and close. Oh yeah, right? So as you're opening those legs, it's, your abs are wanting to like open up a little bit. I want you to really think about squeezing them together here. It's five, four, three, two, one, legs come back to that nice position and then articulate all the way back down. 
Let's really quick grab the knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Maybe take them to one side and then the other. All right. I know that resistance band is mean. All right. Arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. All right. Go ahead. We come into that bridge just like before. If you want to come um, to a high heel position, that would be even harder. Now keep resistance on the band the whole time. Don't let go and then lift and lower the hips. So eh, lift and lower. Yep. Abs lower, glutes lift. Abs lower, glutes lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, hold it here at the top. Keep the tension on that band. Lift and lower the heels. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Articulate all the way back down. Very nice. Okay, let's get rid of the resistance band for a hot second. Um, it's a good thing I have this headset on. It does. It actually does make a big difference. Okay. All right. So from here, um, I want you to come over onto your bellies for me. Okay, put your hands directly underneath you, and I want us to get a little bit of flexion in the back, okay? So we take an inhale, exhale, squeeze the glutes, lift the chest. Take an inhale, exhale, come right back down. If you need to take a smaller swan, that's cool. We take an inhale, exhale, we lift the chest. We take an inhale, exhale, we come right back down. We take an inhale, exhale, we lift the chest. We take an inhale, exhale, we come right back down. Two more here. We take an inhale, exhale, lift the chest. We take an inhale, exhale, we come right back down. Last one here, inhale, exhhale, we come all the way up. We take an inhale, exhale, come right back down. So I want you to put the TheraBand on the outside of your hands in this position. You probably don't want that crazy heavy one, Mindy. Yeah, all right. So put your hands directly underneath you and push up into a plank. We're not here forever, Mindy. All right, so. Keep your hands there. Now lift the right leg. Dig through that right heel and lift and lower the leg. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch legs. Dig through that heel. Five, four, three, two, one. Drop to your knees. Press back into a child's pose for me. Okay, so for the next one, if you need to come to your knees, that's fine too. But we are going to do a little bit of an arm movement in the plank. So come into that plank for me. All right. Neck is long. Pull the belly up and in. Abs are, are nice and engaged. Now, if this is hurting your back, really think about kitty catting the abs up and in. Right arm goes out two or three inches. Right arm comes back. Left arm goes two or three inches. Left arm comes back. It's eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead, drop to your knees, press back into that child's pose. Very nice. All right, I'll give you guys a break. The uh, TheraBand's going on the outside of the ankles, and you're going to come into the side lying position for me. You might want to move the water bottle just a little bit so we can see your glorious face, Miss Thing. Okay, so you're laying on your side. You can either have a little pillow or you can be up on your forearm. You want to be in that banana shape for me. I want that bottom foot flexed and the top foot flexed. Pulling up on that bottom oblique. Top hand is in front, lightly touching. Here we go. Lift and lower. Eight, seven. It is going to be really booty today. Six. I know. I have a lighter one if you need it. Five, four, three two, one, hold the tension, flex foot still, little pulses, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, take a hot second, point the toes for me, both legs are pointed, now continue with the movement, lifting and lowering that top leg, so even just moving from a pointed to a flex totally is getting a little bit different part of that butt, five, Four, three, two, one. Keep the tension. Little pulses here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take a hot second. 
One more thing here. Keeping the tension in the feet. Let's um, come to almost like a Pilates V if you can. Now keep the tension, okay, and hold it there. Lift and lower both legs. Eight. Seven. It's almost like a side teaser, right? Six. Five. Yep. Four. Three. Two. One. Very nice. Lay on your back. Take a figure four stretch. Yes. Yes. You can do both, right? So you're a little bit more advanced getting to almost like that side teaser and she had it the other way. It's not wrong one way or the other, but you had the more advanced for sure. So lay on your back, take a figure four stretch. If you need to reverse, uh, retake off that TheraBand. She's just like that. I know she is. Um, what was I going to say? My girlfriend in California had never done Pilates and she tried one of my videos. She's like, how can I be sore from laying on my back the whole time? <laughs> Make sure you're breathing. Maybe take the pretzel the other direction for me. Very nice. All right. When you're ready, let's get into the side plank on the other, not the side plank, the banana uh, side leg series on the other side. All right, so get a good setup. You want to be in that banana shape, either on your arm or on your forearm. We have flex feet to start, so nice flex feet, both feet flex. Lift and lower, full range of motion if you can. As we do this, I want you to think about pulling that belly up and in. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top, little pulses. Eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one. Lower it down. Let's come to a pointed toe. We are going to do standing work with this thing today, too. So here we go. We lift and lower. All the way. We've got pointed feet here. Five, four, three, two, one. Hold the tension, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lower down, come to Pilates V if you can, all right, so you're in that external rotation, again, it's transferring along, keep the tension in it, all right, now lift and lower both legs, it could be like a side teaser like Mindy, or maybe it's just a lift and lower like Haley, six, five, four, three, two, one, beautiful, go ahead, lay on your back, Get rid of that torture device for a hot second. Let's stretch that out. So just to give an idea where we're going next, we're going to come standing. We're going to do chest expansion with the TheraBand. And then um, we'll get rid of the TheraBand um, after we do a little bit of leg stuff. And then we'll do some leg stuff standing with it. And then we'll go back into some abs and all that jazz. All righty. So stand up for me. So. Um, I want you to put the TheraBand on the outside of your arms, um, and we're doing chest expansion with it, okay? We'll do it both ways, so we'll start with the arms behind to start. So, really important, we talk about good positioning here. Now, a lot of us are sitting at our computers, iPads, and hunched over, so we really need to try to do this more often than we have been doing it, all right? So, neck is long, pull the belly up and in. Why don't you come to Pilates V with the feet, so you're squeezing those inner thighs and the glutes together. Now, light tension, don't get crazy to start. Just lift and lower the arms behind you with the tension. Inhaling, exhaling, pulling the belly up and in. That neck is long. This looks like it's pretty easy. I know it's not. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the arms come back down. Okay. Now I just want you to lift out a little bit, not a crazy amount. Hold it there. Now turn the head to the right, center, left, center. Let the arms come back down. Lift the arms a little bit. Turn the head left to start. Center, right, center, arms come back. Lift the arms a little bit. We go right to start. It's right, center, left, center, arms come back. Lift the arms a little bit. We start left. It's left, center, right, center, arms come back. Last time each side, we lift. We go right, center, left, center, arms come back. Last time here, we press it out. Left, center, right center arms come back all right go ahead lift it to not a crazy place but a place 
okay? Now press out, out, out on it. So it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down. One more set here. Can you change the rotation of your arms so that it's more like the palms are facing? Yeah, that's better. Lift up to a place that's okay. Now press out, out, out. This is it. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Go ahead. Change the resistance band so you're, it's on the outside of your hands in front of you. Last thing here, I promise, with this, okay? So go ahead. I want you to lift the arms so they're chest height. Pull the belly up and in, and then wide range of motion here. So it's out, 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 eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the tension, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One. Yay. I know. It looks a lot easier than it is. You want to kill me right now? All right. So, let, no, we're not. Do, I wasn't going to do that. I know. I'm not that evil today. All right. So, go ahead. We're going to put um, the TheraBand on the outside of the ankles. Okay. So, we're going to go into a little bit of a squat leg series, lateral lifts. If you have terrible balance, you might want a chair nearby, but I, I know both my friends do not. Okay. So, let's be in parallel and a little bit wider than hip distance. So, not crazy. Okay. All right. So, arms are straight up in front of you, or maybe you're holding like this. You pick what works for you. Go ahead. Lower down into the chair. When you stand up, dig through those heels, squeeze the glutes. Lower down, squeeze through the glutes. I want you to really think about sitting that booty back, pulling the belly up and in. Eight, not hard yet, right? Seven, six, five, right? Four, three, two, one. Stand up for a hot second. Get down to that beautiful squat, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand up. We're adding on. We get down low. Stand up. Kick the leg out. Stand up. Switch to the other side. Stand up. One leg goes up. Get down low. Out to the other side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Stand up. Shake it out for a hot second. All right. Two more variations left in this series. All right. So you're going to get down into that squat. Stand up. Stay on the left for five. Get down low. Stay on the uh, right for five. Okay. Here we go. We get down low. We stand up. We stay on the left. Get down. Squat. Stay on the left. Three more here. It's three. Don't worry. I'm counting. It's two. Is this burning like hell? And one. We switch to the right. Because I'm fast. Three more here. It's three. It's two. And one. Very nice. All right. Shake it out for a hot second. We are coming to external rotation. Okay. So... There is not a lot of ability to get bigger because we're already wide with that thing. That thing, that resistance band, I could talk correctly. So let's go into that wide sumo squat and squeeze the glutes and lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, get down low, hold it here, little pulses. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, stand up. All right, so we're going into that alternating. We get down, we go left, then we go down and go right. Here we go. Down, kick it to the left. Down, kick it to the right. You're like, how does she come up with this weird stuff, right? Six, five, Four, three, two, 
and one. Very nice. Okay, so last thing here, right? It's five on the left, five on the right, then we'll be done with the legs. I promise, friends, all right? So if you need to walk in your, your little sumo squat to make yourself happier, right? So friends, agree with me. It's the standing leg that is burning just as bad as the lifting leg. Okay, all right, so here we go. We get down, we stay on the left, left. <laughs> three more here. It's three. It's two. And it's one. We switch it to the right here. It's five. It's four. It's three. I'm loving this. <laughs> two. <laughs> and one. Very nice. Get rid of the torture device. It has to be at 9.30. So we are very much social distancing outside here. Take a minute, grab a, a sip of water. All right. So go ahead. We're going to lay on our backs. We're going to go to single leg circles because I think that would be nice to move the hip. So laying on your back. No band. No band. All right. So you're laying on your back. Your left leg is either straight or bent. Okay. Um, switch legs, Haley. It's okay. So your head, neck, and shoulders can be lifted or you can be down. So right leg is either straight or, uh, straight. Yeah, straight. Okay. Now we're going to go for a circle. So down towards the other leg and then exhale and lift. So inhale, exhale, lift. Inhale, exhale, lift. This feels nice now, right? We're lubricating the hips, getting a little ab workout, right? Eight, seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it. Really think about exhaling as you lift. Exhaling as you lift. Pull the belly up and in. Now, naturally, your hips may be wibble wobbling, but you want to be using your abs here. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. We're switching legs. Get a good setup. Your hip flexors killing you? Yes. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Really They're really tight because you've been driving a lot. Yes. yes. Okay. So left leg is straight. If you need to come to a bent variation with that leg, you could. Yeah. Okay. All right. So go ahead towards you to start. Inhale, then exhale, lift. Inhale, then exhale, lift. Five. Four. Three, two, one. We reverse it. You may be noticing one leg is much grumpier doing this, and that's okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Very nice. Grab your knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Aha. Uh -huh. Legs are straight out in front of you, arms are up overhead. All right. All right. So we take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest, roll up to seated one vertebrae at a time. Grab your feet, spine stretch forward. Make sure you're breathing. Let's take three big, big breaths here. Three, two, one. I want you to scoot your butt closer towards the tree house over here. Okay. Coming into a tiny little ball. We're going to go into rolling like a ball. All right. So you're going to take an inhale. Then exhale, chin to chest, lift and try to balance. Inhale, chin to chest, exhale, lift and balance. Three more. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. Woo! Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. You may have to fix your mat if you need to. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. One more for good measure. Inhale, exhale, lift the chest. Hold it here. Balance. Use the abs. Five, four, three, two, one, put your feet down, grab your knees, rock side to side, releasing that lower back. Okay. We're going to go into a short teaser series. Then we'll do overhead rollover, that kind of stuff. Stretch and get you out of here. Okay. So, so Haley, if you want to do this in the bent variation, that's cool. Um, all right. So arms are overhead. All right. We take an inhale, exhale, lift the chest coming into that teaser. Yep. Now go ahead. Yep, hold it there. Breathe. Balance. Five, four, three, two, one. Slowly lower everything down towards the mat. 
Okay, we take an inhale, exhale. We come right back into that same position we were just in. Oh yeah, I got your abs good there. Okay, little circles with the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Reverse it here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, can you get up a little bit higher? Pull it in, breathe, three, two, one, lower everything down. All right, that was enough of that business. Okay. I mean, I think I'm doing, so Michaela can't come tomorrow, so I'm in tomorrow. I may do both days. We'll have to see. All right, so let's go into a little bit um, of overhead kind of stuff. So um, we're going to first start with roll over jackknifey stuff, Mindy, and then... Um, and then, Haley, you know to hold your back. Okay. So arms, are, by the way, if this doesn't feel good to you, please don't do it. Okay. So arms are pressing like the devil to the mat. I want you to zip the legs up for me to start. Okay. We take an inhale, exhale, using the stomach and the glutes. We come to a roll over. All right. Now flex those feet. Open the legs a little bit. Then take an inhale, exhale, roll down one vertebrae at a time. Yep. Very nice. Let's zip up the legs. Point the toes. Pressing like the devil. We take an inhale, exhale. We let the legs come up overhead. Now Mindy's doing the full variation, as you can see. You're going to flex those heel. Open the legs. Carriage width. Uh, carriage width. Hip width. We take an inhale, exhale. We roll down one vertebrae at a time. Once your hiney hits, lower the legs. So for the next one, we're going to add a jackknife, okay? So arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. Legs are zipped up. We take an inhale, exhale. We let the legs come up overhead. Get up as high as you can once you're here. So really enjoy this lengthening moment, right? Take an inhale, exhale. Lower down one vertebrae at a time. Once the high knee hits, lower the legs. That's juicy, yes? All right, we'll do that one more time, and then we'll try the control, okay? We take an inhale, exhale. We let the legs come up overhead. Jackknife up when you can. Zip the legs together. Pull the belly up and in. And enjoy this lengthening here. Make sure you're using your abs and your glutes. And then we lower down with zipped up legs. One vertebrae at a time towards the mat. See, Haley, that looked very pretty this time. It gets better once your back opens up, yes? So control balance is a little bit different. So Haley, you're just going to do a little bit of a leg scissor kick. And then uh, Mindy's going to go for the full variation. I tried the full variation yesterday. I forgot how hard it was. All right, so arms are pressing like the devil into the mat. We take an inhale, exhale with zipped up legs. We come up over. Now, see, Mindy is going to go for the full variation. She's going to grab her ankles and lift the right leg towards the sky. And then she'll switch and switch. And see, Haley's got the nicer variation, which is still nice, right? One more each side. All right. Then the legs come together. You're almost in a jackknife. All right, we take an inhale, exhale, we roll down one vertebrae at a time. Legs hit the mat, arms come up overhead. Take three big breaths here, it's three, it's two, and it's one. We take an inhale, exhale, chin to chest, we roll up to seated one vertebrae at a time. Grab those toes, big stretches here. Hold it here, it's three, two, one. Very nice, my friends. You are done. Happy Wednesday. Nice work. Questions, concerns, comments, suggestions, please let us know. Happy day.